Okay, we have to understand the play of life and that the consciousness, it chose, it wanted to, it's, it's a divine game, divine mistake even, <laughs> because it wants to experience this, uh, this journey. It believes itself to be this autonomous individual self, this self-existing self. If you look at everybody, everybody's in their own world, you know? They don't really care so much about your world unless it affects their world. This is what it is. It's a super extreme, selfish uh, existence. Most, most individuals. It's just, it's like that saying, it's like, I'm all I ever think about. And I can't help it. So this is what it is. Um, so why is it hard to surrender? Because, because how can this selfish, individual, autonomous, seeming self surrender? It's not in its nature to surrender. It's in its nature to handle stuff, to get it done, to figure it out, to conquer. I'm going to conquer this awakening. I'm going to get this awakening. I'm going to get enlightenment. Oh yeah, but you got to surrender though to to get the awakening. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna surrender. Same indiv individual sense of mind, ego self. That's gonna he's gonna surrender now. Yeah, I'm gonna surrender. How do you surrender? Like, what do you mean? You say you're gonna surrender. What are you doing? Well, I'm just saying. Like, I, I'm surrendering. How how, how the? Mm, uh, <laughs> you see how you surrender? Surrender. At some point, the individual consciousness suffers this whole play of individual seeming existence. And enjoys it at first, accomplish your goals and you, you know, your ambitions and you, you get attention from people. They tell you you're good. Ego loves that because it doesn't, it's cut off seemingly from the source. So it's not getting this attention from inside. It needs external attention. So it needs to find something exclusive that nobody's doing. Like back in the day when like nobody had a Lamborghini, it's like, whoa, that's a big deal. It still is. I mean, if you take one to India, that would be fun. <laughs> so at some point though, the consciousness like suffers that. It's like, it sees this isn't giving me the contentment. God has instilled at a deep instinctual level that we find true contentment. So then when we try all these little things, when we imagine ourselves to be this little individual self and we don't get content, it's written in the program that, that the individual ego gives up at some point. It's like it burns itself up is what happens. Yeah. The individual sense of self is doing, doing, trying, trying, even in the spiritual path, same thing, Buddha did. Buddha burned up his self. Uh, you can say the righteous self, individual self that's looking for spirituality, looking for awakening. That's why I say don't call off the search yet. That's that's like you just like whoa. so Buddha Buddha and Buddha Buddha let this seeking energy die a natural death, and he and he burned himself up. Ego burned itself up. <laughs> trying to find enlightenment he couldn't do it all these severe austerities and practices and dry fasting and hanging upside down from a tree like a bat and you know like and so he's chilling then uh he's just i'm gonna i'm gonna sit by this tree because i'm like tired i just want to chill and then he found some peace something there was space then why because the ego wasn't there taking all the space up so then something became aware it's like the space became self-conscious he's like damn it like i found what i was looking for it's like really it was right there <laughs> but we got to play this game there's 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 like no way <clears throat> to buck this evolutionary journey okay is that the end though see people like to think that i had my awakening in 2002 and <laughs> done yeah. So what happens then is you uh, you enjoy this uh, spaciousness. Ego's still there, though. Ego has to be there in order if we're going to keep this body. There has to be. That's like part of the software package that's necessary to run this program. So ego's still there. It might be in a dormant state, but it's still there. Nobody's free of an individual 
a sense of self. I guess the question is, is it more of a provisional sense of self or is there deep identity with it? Anyway, so you start experiencing, feeling, enjoying the spaciousness, then the ego mind, individual sense of self, creeps back in and says, man, we got this now, like, finally, like, you, you're awake now. Congratulations. Ah, oh, thanks, man. Yeah, it was a hard road. Oh, that's, I understand, man, damn. So look, now that you're awake, let's go and, uh, you're here, you're here to, in life to enjoy things, right? Like, oh yeah, that is true. Yeah, I mean, God put you here. Like, what are you gonna do? You can just sit here in the woods and just look stupid? Like, you gotta go, go do something with this, with this awakening energy. And then you can help people. That's what you need to do. My, the mind's saying that. And then the consciousness is like biting a little bit. It's like, yeah, I, you know what? I think that's a good idea because I should help people and I should share, I should share this awakening. So then, <clears throat> next thing you know, or whatever, get cars or go, whatever. You get back into some mundane uh, mind stream without knowing it. Disguise, justified as like, no, this is this is just the best thing to do. You know, this, this needs to be done. That's next level. So then, you suffer that. There's this teeter tottering. Uh, I'm, I'm I'm surrendered. I'm I'm like aware of this inner spaciousness. I just I, I just let's just stay there. Like, okay, mind's coming. No, no, no. no, no. I just want to stay here now. Yeah, let my thoughts be directed by the source. Okay. And then, mind, you listen to it at some point. And then you get thrown back into delusion a bit. And then you recognize, you're like, damn it, I'm in delusion again. And then something, something because it suffered, it's suffering again, it lets go again. That let go, in, that let go is subconscious. Grace does it. Something just let go. It just lets go. So then, boom, you're back on the beam again. Uh, boom, you lose it, okay? That has to happen for a bit. Then you have to surrender that you can't stop that. You don't have the power as a mind, as an individual self, to stop this teeter-tottering. Can't do it. Something recognizes that. Then you surrender that too. You're like, God, I can't, I don't have the power to like not leave you. I just can't. I don't. I don't want to. But like, I can't help it. Maya comes, ego, ego mind comes, and just seduces me. And I'm just like back in it. I don't even know I'm in it. Just I'm back in it. So you surrender that, and then grace can can infiltrate your your being even more. And then you don't trip and judge yourself. How long I was out? How much am I in now? And just blah blah blah. Like you just give everything up. You just surrender everything. You just because it's a mess. It's a mess. It's a mess for this this mind. This, this you you get tired. You just tired of like all the projections the mind comes up with and the measuring it's doing and oh you know me compared to them and oh I don't know they're talking you know all that like you don't care anymore. Somebody asks you, so what? You think you're awake? You say, man, I am not thinking about it. You tell me. And don't tell me. You just keep it to yourself. You enjoy judging me. All right? Right on. So the other thing is I wanted to touch, though, lastly, because I see this in people, and I notice this in my consults, and I notice this in, my question, in the questions people uh, give to me, is... You compare yourself to these other people, like YouTubers. It's the worst people. You're like, you, no, they're cool people, but it's the worst to compare yourself to to the people who are making videos. They make a video for 10, 20 minutes, and then you compare yourself. Like, oh, they're they're like they look like they're so happy. What's wrong with me? You have no idea. You do not know. Put a camera on them and watch them 24 seven for a while, okay? And you're gonna realize that definitely there's a strong human side to them. Probably stronger than, than uh, anybody wants to admit. The other thing, especially, especially man, like if it's like some, I mean, 20 year olds are cool, like everybody's cool, but especially if it's, uh, 
you know, it really takes a good minimum 30 some years, but normally 40 years. And that's for somebody who's really doing a lot of self-introspection and whose who's, uh, main purpose in life is to transcend. It takes that long, about four decades, before you see everything that's inside you come, come up. There's a lot of these people, their karma hasn't even came up yet. They don't even know yet what's inside them. Situations having, see situations that life prescribes bring stuff out that you don't know is there. So that's why you see a lot of people, they'll start making videos and then they disappear. You don't even see them anymore. <laughs> why? Yeah, life hit them with something, you know? So don't, don't, don't be so, uh, I guess, naive to believe, um, to judge, to, to just don't, judge and measure anybody feel in your heart that's this is this is if, if, if there's some energy that's speaking to you directly if you get in a heart transmission that's not being you know it's not your mind doing it no mind it's just a direct resonance okay trust that yeah flow with that and don't listen see technology nowadays you got so much stuff out there I tell people, look, find one person's best. If you find one person and you feel they're covering everything, just stay and just stay with them, watch them. Two people at the most. Don't go from this video and this video and this and you watch the, oh no, but they said this and that contradicts with this. And you're just making yourself confused. Like why? You know, it's, it's, it's a waste of time and energy and, and uh, you, you, you're, you're not gonna be balanced doing that. That's another thing I see in people, like, because the technology is, yeah, it's so, like, everything's out there now. Like, everything's out there. Anything you want to see, <laughs> yeah, just go on the internet and you'll find it. So, anyway, <clears throat> everybody's going to surrender at some point because that is the destiny for everybody. This is, this, I tried to explain the process of how it works. Don't, oh, that's another video I think I'm making. Uh, surrender but don't try to surrender or something some some weird you know <laughs> because the truth is like that the truth the truth is like that it's like as an individual self we don't have the power to surrender surrender happens the individual self burns itself out and then boom what's left to surrender there's nobody there that surrendered though that's what I'm trying to say have a good day <laughs>